Let's get now. Peace and blessings. This is Lisa Marie. So I know I've been talking about this neem oil, and I told y'all somebody asked me some good questions, and I wanted to help to answer those questions. Yes, you know me. This is my little this whole this is my little sleepwear, and uh, what I'm doing now is just kind of detangling uh, the little twist. Cause I do this thing to make my bun look like a bun and look a little more mature, not like a puff. <laughs> yeah, I try not to do the puffs. The puffs are just, they're so cute, but I just think I'm just feel, I'm too old for a puff. Although you see a lot of sisters here that's, you know, different ages that have a puff. So I can't say it's an age thing, but I always feel very kind of young. It's the puff got to be right to do it, you know? So as many of you know, I, when I first came, to the continent in May. It was March, actually. <laughs> um, March, April. No, it was, it was, I don't even remember now. I guess, yeah, it was March. Yeah. Uh, when I came, I, I, my hair was, you know, gray and it was so healthy. I had really, it was in a good state. Like, even though I had to weave for what, two days? <laughs> that weed for two days you would think i had that weed for like five years like at least two months I, it was horrible but anyway and then i was bouncing back i was bouncing back for everything i you couldn't tell me nothing braids you know all of that bouncing back right but then i went and i was hanging i was i was africa it was new and like we got our hair done i mean it was an amazing experience in so many ways and i my girl was like we should dye our hair so we can get our braids because we both was gray and I don't know at the time, and I, you know, it sounded like a great idea, you know, and uh, the dye, like it was, <laughs> it ain't a salon salon. Like I just want you to know, it ain't that. So you ain't asking for the choice of what they dye, and they could get that dye from anywhere, probably China, and the dye could be, it's probably the toxic of the toxic. So the fact that I was still standing after says how strong the strength of Africa. That's all I can say, but. Because I was coming, like, almost raw, you know. Anyway, at that point, I had a couple of clubs in me. Uh, I think I had lunch. I mean, I don't even think, I mean, well, not that, but I mean, over time, since I was there, and I had party, had a good time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was with it. Matter of fact, wait, we got there on, like, say, I got there on a Thursday. We did our hair on Friday. We literally woke up, got dressed, ironed our clothes, and got our hair done. So we did, we, it was, and I got my hair dyed. And you can see the gray roots are coming out. So hair dyed here. And you see that, it's, it's grown a lot. Hair dyed here. Everybody knows this already. Uh, it's harsh on the, it's chemical. It's, uh, it's just so harsh on the hair that I didn't even feel connection to my hair when I first took it out. I didn't want to, I, I was like, that's not my hair. Like, what is that? Like, I, I didn't even like it. And, um, and I definitely, the color, I'm like, let me just say, I do want dark hair, and I do want to cover my gray. Yes, I do. I don't have a problem with it. Or, you know, yeah, I would like to. Um, the only thing, I just want it to be natural. I want it to be natural. I think the one I had was called Silver Fox. It's a vegan brand dye, and I remember I used to mix. I did it so not that long, but I did it. My, my, actually, my ex used to apply it. I used to mix the blue with the black, if you remember, because I wanted a blue and black look. And it, it didn't last long. It just kind of washed out after some washes, but it was so not harsh. Like, it, nothing happened to my hair. <laughs> you know, actually, <laughs> I ain't know it's a dang difference, but it covered for those however long it's supposed to cover, you know. I loved it. I loved it. And I, I so I, this is my first time to die. Like, I didn't choose it. And like now what i wouldn't give for like a natural tint or a nature tint like i don't i never even use them but the stuff from whole foods like oh my god like i would love that i would love that so i'm gonna invest in some or or if i had the patience i don't even know if i can get henna here i would think i maybe could but i don't even have the patience for that many applications i would need it real 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 easy so yeah but anyway so but you know what when I first took my braids out after I dyed it, oh my God, my hair was like, what hair is this? This is brittle. I even rec I couldn't even describe it because I never, I didn't even recognize it. I had no words for what I never felt. Like I never felt it. And I was just like, 
And then I was just like, oh, the, the black is so black. Like, it's a little too, I mean, I want the color to gray, but God dang it, it should be an off black to me. So I wouldn't do jet black here. I think that it, it's funny how you, you want it to make you look younger, but I think when it's too dark, it make you look older, to be honest. But, but I do like the covered gray. Like, I mean, the gray cover, like I do. And I like color. I would like to do, you know, with, let me tell you this, for multiple colors, that's why I, I like the braids, because I can let the hair be the color and just color my, my hair color. Yeah, I want like an off black. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, in between time, my scalp, let's talk about this name, my scalp after coming out of these braids. And the fact is from the last braids to the braids before the braids before I had maybe one or two days so-called rest. So my scalp really has never gotten a lot of super love since the weave, the two-day weave. Yeah, that was two days. It was hard. For those that don't know, I, I don't know why I wanted to start 2020 with torture. So I went and got a weave. Nobody could tell me nothing. And people were trying to tell me. I was like, no, you don't know. I, I want to notice. I want to express myself. And I, I, I think I took it off. I tried to do it the same day, but I didn't, they didn't have an appointment or something. So I came back the morning, and oh yeah, I was tortured. And I never had my scalp feel so sore. I never had scalp issues, so I never felt that was hard. It was not good for that way. But I loved it back. I came back even from that, and then I went to Africa, where I am now, and I got this. So anyway, but my the last few days, let me talk about it. My hair is, because I let me tell you what I'm doing. It's my nightly routine. Uh, sometimes it's every other night, but it's what I've been doing now. Neem is known to heal, soothe your scalp. And I didn't know any of this. I just knew I bought some Neem, because Spirit told me to, and it was time. my hair was inflamed from the pressure of just not, no break in this, you know, the, the, the extensions. I was like, I put that neem on something said, put it on the scalp, because this neem don't, I, yeah, I ain't see all the structures. It said, put it on the scalp and just rub it in. And that's what I did. And then, of course, I, the tools you knew you could put on the strands. And my hair was drinking it. As a matter of fact, I just, what they call pre pooed I used the, the neem that night when I, as soon as I took out my braids during the blackout or during the lights out. Uh, I used that neem. And that neem, uh, I could feel it, like I said, to bonding the hair, like I, I protecting and coating. And I, I kept it on all night. I slept with it. I think I kept I did it. I think I slept with it. No, I went out the next morning with it. So it, it never dripped because it penetrated. It needed that moisture. And then that neem locks in the moisture. But the neem is so good for so much internally, externally. So, you know helps to uh, help your face, I mean, get that collagen to really bring that collagen repair and restore the collagen production in your skin. I had the neem oil today. I, this is no shade, but this is all day. This is me at the end of the day. No no bath yet and still nice glow. This is my ass what I'm using for. So I use it for my hair. I use it for my scalp and my whole hair, which we'll do today. And then I use it for my body. I use it on my face. I use it and it is, it is dope. It is dope. So now, because I, I have some on my hand for my hair, and so I'm just showing you all the places it could go. Because my hair is clean. I washed my hair about a day or two ago and uh, with the black soap. But the neem is everything. The neem, the neem is, is, is the ish. So, yeah. So I do have to get some dyes. So I need to do some Amazon and see how Amazon do in Ghana and how you get your mail. I'm going to open up a post office box tomorrow. And I can do it right at the art center or wherever I want. But I'm going to do it tomorrow. Mm. What I also do is when I first get in the house and I take my hair up from the high ponytail, I give it a nice massage. Like I've, that one I've been treating myself to. So... These are the things, and then I gotta have y'all plugged in because you know I ain't got no battery. So this is your sister's here right now, but the neem oil, and you know, excuse me, hey, you know, I went over raw. So this is the neem oil. It's pure, it's raw. This is Ghana, honey, all over Ghana. So it's potent, and so the first thing I do is just take some. It's, it's, it's not diluted, it's not, there's no carrier oil. And it has a uh, definitely a, some would say a strong smell, but I'm getting used to it. 
because I just massage my scalp. Because mm. it needs it and you deserve it. And I just stay in any areas that feel like it needs it more. You're going to hear it still kind of strong naturally. Mm. And yeah, I massage my scalp and I just feel so good. Especially the areas. And I kind of do give it a little, not I'm scratching it, but just a little something. So she here, the edges. Because you can do it for your edges. So I make sure those edges get it. It's so good. I can feel it. I can feel. But everything to me, I can feel the energy of things. And you can put it on your body. It doesn't stay greasy. The odor goes away quickly, and the shine just it's instant glow and shine, and it's doing and helping you internally as well. So yeah, I just. <sighs> allow and you know I know something about when my some people it's different but my hair thrives when I actually touch it some people don't touch it. I mean touching it just I mean even if it's just uh, moisturizing my hair thrives it likes to be touched by me every night it, it loves it and it that's all my secret is I never do anything fancy I never get I use usually one or two natural oils and so I'm showing you this because my hair will be back in tip-top shape and I will get a nice natural color ring in Ghana, which, no. Now, I'm kind of, now, I'm probably, of course, I'm overdoing it, but you actually can't. But I want to make sure that now the tips are getting what they need. It is loving it. And you see it was already still oily, which is a good thing for me, but... My hair dries out fast, and then it was already it already dried out fast. I don't know if that means it's high or low porosity, but uh, even a little faster with that dye. But I'm connecting to, and when you touch her, I think you bring her back to life, and you connect with her. I mean, in all honesty, the scalp is so important, and it feel like it sounds like sandpaper. That's not good so to me, but the scalp is so important. It's really the scalp. I always remember that. And I, I do the bang too, and I'll show you how I do it. So, number one thing, and I'll out my braids. They are not for sure. I just take them out. They're going into a high ponytail tomorrow. And I'll wear my high ponytail maybe a day or two more. Like, I actually love that style. It's, I like, uh, besides, I know y'all know this, but I also like elegant styles. And I think a high puff, mm, and this is my, I love this. I got this from Amazon. It's that one that, yeah, you kind of spray it and then it still sprays. It evenly wets your hair. I love that little Amazon bottle was so cheap. If you think about trap moving, make sure you get all your favorite stuff like spray. You'd be surprised the littlest thing you think is little, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna find it here. And if you're natural, I'm trying to figure, I'm gonna have to make my own toothpaste because they really on the, uh, the crest, I'm <laughs> sorry, crest is old school, but really on them. Sorry, y'all, if you if you use that, the commercial toothpaste, which I ain't had that in. I'm 52. I'm not even serious. I probably ain't had that since I was 18 years old. Like, once I got into the natural movement, it was over. It was over. I, I don't do that. <laughs> I don't do that. So, yeah, a lot of stuff. Like, I'm so glad I don't use the odor rank because, you know, you got to look for Tom. Like, where is Tom's, you know? I don't know Tom's own, but I don't care who right now. I don't really, at that point, especially then, now I do care, but so much who was owned by, at least in a pinch, I know it's natural. And But for me, I got my, I was getting my toothpaste from my girl, Melanin Rich. And oh my God, I'm, I miss her because she made me the natural toothpaste with the clay. So all my skincare products was all black. All my hair care products were too, unless I got them from the store, you know, like the olive oil or something. And that's it. That is my moisturizing. And it, it this, I, this has been a long time since my hair has felt this way. But the neem oil feel like it take you, it bring you back to help quick, fast, in a hurry. And as y'all see, I don't want you just to see my little tits. If it was us all girls, it wouldn't even be a problem for me. 
tell you, I'm getting older. I feel like I, I, I be just one. Y'all watching the show? Y'all watching the show? Okay. I'll be sure wanting to walk around naked every night. Like I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't really care no more, you know. I'm just, just saying. I've had that feeling. You're going to get there. If you ain't 50 plus yet, you'll know. I'll be like, damn, they going to. Yeah, that's just the truth. I don't know. It's just, that's how it is now. <laughs> how it is. You want to go to the door and be like, what you looking at? Damn, I'm, I'm tired. Like, I got home. I'm going to be free. <laughs> so, yeah, that's been a new thing. Yeah, that's been, but yeah, it has been a new thing. Actually, I ain't know if we're going to be talking about me going to my house naked, but it just feel good. That's all I'm saying. And you shouldn't do it if you don't feel it, because it's like people exercise. Like, why you supposed to be like, now I want you to go home and get naked. I don't know. I know we do that. I'm sorry. I was going to say, you're right, you're essential. I want you to go home and get naked and tell your body. You're all that. I don't think you need to go there. I think you need to feel it. And you, if you, it's just a natural progression. If you don't feel it. If you don't feel it, don't do that thing. Because that's just ridiculous. You ain't feeling it. And that, ain't so, that don't get you. Maybe that's not your issue. You know what I'm saying? Just when you feel it, you'll know. I think it's an age thing. I really do. I think it's a time in life, too, maybe. I don't really know. So, yeah. So, I'm telling you. Now, tonight, I mean, I could do these twists, I'm sure, a lot small, bigger, but I'm taking out tonight. I want it because I didn't do it yesterday. I want to section off so I can have give attention to, give attention to, like, you know, it gets most of the hair strands. So, but that neem oil, that neem oil be doing me right, y'all. That neem oil is fire. Now, I will say this about. And I know you already know this about the dye. It does kind of, it does change the texture of your hair. And I think that part was hardest for well, that's the part I probably wasn't used to. Look at this hair. Because it uh yeah, it changes the texture just a tad. It, it definitely loosens the curl or softens the hair, seems to be. But actually I feel like you lose a lot too. And I don't know if you're seeing where it actually be going, but it be breaking off. That's what you know. Um, so that could be it till you have less. I don't really know, but yes, I will say it's not worth it, but, um, my, my grooming hair time is cut down. Like some people say in half. Yes. Even the washing, the little bit of short, it's funny, the shorter it got, cause you know, it broke off and, and the texture, I'm not, I'm not spending that much time. In the bathroom and I like that so I mean I like that I don't have to spend that much time I don't really care what the texture change I my hair was in good shape but I feel like at the same time you know what it was it was fun like I really could say that I, I wouldn't have done anything differently even if I knew that it was gonna be like this because one thing I do know and see if I get an itchy scalp I'm wetting it another thing you have told me this already Itchy scalp means dry scalp. So remember that. That's how I look at it. Itchy scalp means dry scalp. Oh yeah, I know not just I used to think oh my hair's resilient, my hair's resilient. But and I think that's true, but I think I'm resilient. So I think that I know that I can get my hair back to anything and maybe I needed a challenge. So it's kind of good to know. I think the touch is magical. My hair grows my hair out the best. I don't care how good somebody is. I'm putting some neem oil. Like I'm saying, I'm heavy on it. I went today. I went to that health food stand. I was like, wait, isn't that the block with the health food stand? Kwame was like, yes. I was trying to get me some more. Kwame wanted some too. I was like, let's go. Come on. But it was it was late. It's like after five. So yeah. So and you know, let's get that scalp some love. That's what you are, and that attention. Oh, everybody thrives with touch. And you know, that whole idea, I think, I mean, I know on a scientific level, there's that thing like, oh, and once the hair actually comes out the head, then it's actually dead, you know? And it's like, uh, you can scientifically say that, but spiritually, you can't. That's not true spiritually. Spiritually, it's much alive, and it's, your, and it's attached to your vibrational frequency. That's not that you know you can't really use that term because you take out the spirituality of 
the fact that it may be dead when it come out and it's the new growth that you want to continue, but it actually is much alive and much a part of you. So my hair always thrives better when I do it myself. When I touch it, the period, twist it, water it, put good things into it, always. <laughs> and I can see, and this is no exception. And let me just say too, wit, see I love this spray bottle. Wit, cause it, like I said, water gets evenly distributed. Yeah, this is good. And you know, yeah, you're getting time with it. I take the sebum off this way too, so I'll be constantly doing it, kind of like giving your hair a mini shampoo. And like, again, if the hair is dry, and if the hair is itching or dry, yeah, itching, then it needs some water. It's itching for some water. So I, always, I try to remember that. But I just, you know, I just got on the routine because the oil and I took the braids out. And this time, I'm not getting my hair done anytime soon. I'm going to do my own hair. I'm loving this thing. And I'm loving the, the updo. Like I said, I know I can't wait updo forever too because then it's attention in another way, you know? But I'm loving that. I'm loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Very elegant, goes with everything. The bees is good. You know, I, I saw this other. She had bees in the front like this too. Well, the hers were smaller and they were beautiful, maroonish. Like the color was in green, but it was, the two colors were so well done together I was like you know what my next one because I think I always get this kind of natural looking ones because I think they look great on my complexion but I think I need uh no I think I, I when I saw the sister you know she was dark so that was easy I was like wait a second now I think that we're gonna get some different beads I'm gonna work I'm gonna watch me I think it's gonna look very beautiful not the ones I always get so because I can put beads in my own hair like I'm doing. So the front is just two strand twisted. I don't take it out and I don't take the beads out because really, who wants to string the beads every single time? You really don't. You really don't. You, know, you think you do, but you don't. And you don't have to. I spray these, I, oil, I put the oil on it and I let it go. It's doing fine. So I'm, I'm, you see, I'm really just making these big because it's not about the twist. It's about the moisture. It's about a little bit of extra attention. And I think, like, see, if I give it this much love every other day, then, you know, I'm good. And like I said, after a while, the hair will grow. I'll use bigger pieces. But, yeah, this is my mask that I told you I use as a hair tie. Yep, it works very well. Because, <laughs> let me tell you why it works. First, okay, I'm going to wash it tonight, but... First of all, yeah, you can see how the oil count. First of all, it matches everything I have because everything I have is mostly a lot of kente. Yeah, that's right. Number two, it has stretch. And even as you wrap around your hair, it still has that stretch of that one right there. That one right there. So when I, it's not hurting me all day. It's not too tight. It's actually, it was brilliant. This, we need something with this on it and this because that, that, this, this is made to give. So I'm telling you, it's probably giving, it's, it's so cool. So yeah, and then, you know, nobody knows. Another thing is, it, it matches, so it's, it's cool. It's just... So yeah, I've been, you know, wearing that. It's like the perfect tie. When you got the perfect tie for your your high ponytail, which I love high ponytails, and I'll show you how when I get it high, I'll show you tomorrow. When I get it high, instead of it looking like a puff, I have it look like a bun. It's a difference. I just, out on the outside of the puff, just on the perimeter of the puff, I do two strand big, you know, fairly big two strand twist. See, but it's hard to actually use it. I do got something to use, but I don't feel like it. So, you know, black folks, we use what we got, okay? This is scrunchy right now. It acts as a lot. It's a tie, and right now, it's a scrunchy, okay? That's what we do with the mask. I got many of them, and that one, I mean, yeah, we just needed to do that. <laughs> so I'm taking this. Yeah, so really, how are y'all doing? Is it good? I hope it's good. I hope you're taking time to self-love, self-groom. And, uh, yeah, so I got my calabashes. I got the calabashes, y'all. I do, I do. I'm so happy. 
So I think I bought nine from that woman all together. So she's loving me right now. Um, but I got those, and I'm going to call me this weekend. I'm going to make it happen. He's going to clean them, and um, I'm going to put the stuff in and let that go. And my fan has started acting up. So Cole Joe, first of all, I locked myself out tonight, by the way. I'll tell you that one. I locked myself out because Cole Joe and Faustina was here. Me and Kwame came in so I could do an interview that I will um, link. And um, so we had to come home after we ate. And then the kids was here and everything and cooking and Faustina talking. And anyway, um, I didn't take my keys. I took the keys to the wardrobe instead. But I was smart enough to give Cole Joe and Faustina an extra key because the landlord don't even have the key. Okay? I was smart enough to do that because that's why I didn't have my key because they, I, I, we left and then they were still here. So they did the right thing. They left and locked the door with the extra key like I told them to do. And I asked them to do And yeah, but it, it was cool. I was cool. I was surprised how amazingly calm I was. I was like, hey, you know what? Kojo coming. We cool. And then he brought the... Uh, ceiling fan guy. They all work together because I told Kwame, listen to the ceiling fan. Kwame told Kojo, and then Kojo tells somebody, and they bring it over. So the guy that put the fan in, that's in the yellow room. He has now taken the fan. <laughs> he has taken the fan, y'all. The fan is taken because he has to repair it. So there's no ceiling fan in the yellow room, y'all. It's being repaired, but that's what I like when I say, like they say, <laughs> It takes a village to raise a child, and let me tell you something. We all the children. If you don't know, if you don't know, now you know. We are all children. So, we, uh, just the love, just the, the caring, and it's a team. Like I said, it's a village, because Kwame, I will point some out. Kwame don't know how to do it. He knows who does, and he knows who can help, and they work as a team. It's like a tag team, and I, and I absolutely love it. It's like a tag team, okay? So, and then Kwame tells Kojo, like today, he said, oh, yeah, Kojo's here. Let Kojo know about the uh, thing. So I told him, well, he told him, and let's see, you know, Kojo was back because I was locked out. And while he was here, he brought the uh, locksmith, who's also the electrician, by the way, Kwame. Kwame, Kwame. Yeah, so two Kwames. They both Kwame. So um, the village is definitely in the house. And I want to know, do you feel like, I really want to know this. And I've never asked this when I was in the States. But ladies, do you feel like you have a village? Oh, is that my hair? It's not like, is that hair missing? No, but ladies, I'm going to put some extra name there. Do you feel like you, do you feel like you have a village where you are now? Like a straight up, I mean, you can call them in the middle of the night and they're going to be there for you. I always admired women that had that. Cause I, I never, I don't know if I had that. Well, I, I'd always had very close relationships with one sister, so at a time, so I could say that. But uh, this is some extra. This is more family oriented. And so, oh, my next question could be: Or do you have, is your family your village, and do they have these qualities where they're just there for you? Cause you know, you got something there. If you got that, it's a blessing. It's a real life blessing. Ah, loving my hair. So yeah, oh, see, you heard I said that was real. The other thing is you do got to love it. Like I wasn't before, but now that name, y'all, I'm trying to tell you that name ain't no joke. Y'all shouldn't play. Certain parts need more. You see, I'm putting a lot, okay? Let's call it. It's going to be nicely moisturized for days. Okay, one day. <laughs> one day and that's the other thing I learned and like to quit hair growth or repair is uh, for rep for better you know, kind of fast growth or uh, yes is uh, lots of moisturizing water water every night and that's what I like about protective styles so you can water it fully at night you ain't trying to get a braid out you don't give it matter of fact you're keeping the stretch I think this is stretching it so 
it's going to be easier to, to you're going to do your hair in a minute. So I'm just making it easy for myself, y'all. Um, actually, what I want to do, <laughs> yes, I want to get, a, I want a bob, right? I want a bob. So you see, I already got the bang. And I want a bob, and I want the, I want it to be the braids coming down here. I'm going to do it myself with my own hair. And, of course, I'm going to do it with beads. It's going to look so 70s. I already envisioned it. I was like, you know what? I can do this. I can do a bob, and it's not going to be ponytail. It's going to be individual box braids. Of course, loosely tightened. I mean, loosely. See, I've been tight so long. Loosely braided, because I bring my, I don't bring my own hair tight like that. Of course, we don't. And uh, it's going to be a... And what I figure is, the image that I think, it, it, it's, it, you know, that I see, and what's going to come out is going to be, as I was talking to on the radio show today, is going to be a perfect co-creation. Because in the end, if I got the idea, whatever it turns out to be, it's going to be dope. And if I can create a bob, now I like to call it the comedic hair style. If I can create a bob with my own natural hair braided, because I just I don't care where it stops, I just this just need to hang longer than that. That's simple. And I saw an, a version of it just with braids, and it don't have to be small. I'm not, actually, I'm going to do it with twists. I'm actually going to do it with twists, not braids. Uh, twists are easier on my hair. I noticed that even with the extensions, it's much easier on my hair than braids, especially in this state. So I'm definitely going to do twists. And I'm going to make it happen. It's going to have bre It's gonna have little beads. It's going to have little ones this time. It's going to be dope. I already see it. I already see it. I'm going to do it myself with my own hair. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm in, y'all, I'm, I'm feeling creative in every way. If there was a bug, I got bit, honey. <laughs> I got bit. And I think it's a creative time. I don't think it's just me. I think it's extremely, that's what I'm feeling. It's an extremely creative time. I mean, like, really, I'm talking about this day, this time, this moment, these days, this time. Extremely, extremely creative time. And I know a lot of y'all are feeling it. You might not know it, or you are, oh, you might be feeling the opposite of it, which is still kind of it. You might be feeling bored. You might be feeling stagnant. You might be feeling what's next. You might be feeling a little anxious even. But I'm telling you, if you give it a minute, it's just that that feeling is because you're not fulfilling, you're not fulfilling your creativity. And that is, that's some divine femininity. My divine femininity. And I think that's probably one of my favorite topics because I think that as women on, on whatever level, we all want that. <laughs> we want to be divinely feminine. Even if we don't really know what it is, we, we still think if it sounds so good. I hear you. Like, it's real. It's always been for me. Like, my beauty, I say my, to me, <laughs> y'all, mm. I don't know when my beauty got the serious, but my beauty is everything to me. And you hear me say my beauty is everything. That's when I'll be stopping. So I'll be like, oh, wait, what's going on? Let's change some things. <laughs> like, and then I just let, you know what I'm saying? And then spirit come in and be like, okay, and set, set the perfect situations up for me. So, and I just think that that's very African in us, that I feel like the women here too, they're, they, all the women, and I don't know, I think the men know it, expect it, they, they're kind of even used to it. The women are supposed to be pretty. You know, the women are, it's good she does that, that's good, that's the women things. And it's not a, a degrading or a less than, or she's unimportant, it's an acknowledgement of her divine femininity and the reverence for that. I mean, like, that's what I get. It's the most natural, beautiful thing I've really ever seen when you think about how creation creates, you know? It's beautiful, y'all. Now, like I said, I think about it. This is what I see. <laughs> I'm, you know, but I'm somewhat of a poet, and I feel like having all that sad energy around me, which at this point is Kwame, and they're very philosophical, they're thinkers, they're visionaries, they're philosophers, and uh, that's his his amazing, you know, his proverbial skills. Um, and I, I it, that opens me up. Like I like that. So, so Kwame Ofori Duodu is that's his name. Will be teaching the second Sunday in July in my academy. He'll be teaching tree, the meaning of deep tree. 
certain terms that you can use to impress somebody on how deep you are. So he gave me one, <laughs> Monte, Monte Casa, and, uh, and understanding that and just what that is. And the intricacies of like how Ghanaians do it, how Ghanaians are what they say and how they say it. Very, it's going to be a very great class. And it's going to help to balance even Blackberry Beauty Academy with the divine masculine because remember, I love my man. You know what I'm saying? And I mean the black man. Like, I love the black man. Let's show him. Let's show him in all his glory and what he does best, which, you know, which is many things. So I want to balance that. I think we have to go. See, this is what the Mayans said and others. I always think about 2012. I go back to that time, you know, the ending of the Mayan calendar. And the Mayans knew they was like, and others is like, you listen, yeah, we're moving into the divine feminine energy, but don't go tip and toe, tip top and over to all that side, just like you did all the way to the patriarchal side. It's going to be our demise. Because what we all have to learn, men and women, is that the unification is between us all, the man and the woman. If that don't happen, then it's not good on either side. And if we were warned, I remember reading stuff where people just kept saying to God. It's, even me, I didn't call it God anymore. Like, that, they was afraid of this, the ones that saw this. But we got all into the goddess. And then it, it was, yeah. And like I said, and then if, you, if you're coming from a certain centricity, then you're really in trouble. You're in trouble because, it, you know, it's not really God and goddess. It's not to rules, and the, the men and women were equal. Roles were equal, and so it's like that. I'm, I'm feeling that uh, the balance, and again, having the crew, like the whole family was here. The children. I was doing my. I was doing my interview. The kids was, you know, in the background. I mean, you know, it was real. It was cool. It was dope. I enjoyed it. It felt so nice. Food on the oven, kids playing, Kwame and Kojo, which are, you know, they, they consider each other brothers too. So just a family affair, family affair. You know, I realized too, in African culture, it is very, uh, in our culture too, but I think it's, hopefully it's a little more respected here for, let's say, uh, two people that, let's just say they're Kwame, that Kwame and Kojo are blood brothers, even though they are not blood brothers, let's just say, that's how they are in family, as far as family. And they consider me family, too. Yes, they're going to introduce you to their brother first, um, but also there's a certain amount of that Kwame, in a sense, like I was saying, Kwame is responsible for me, but Kojo is, too, because they're brothers. They're, your, your, bro, your husband's brother and, and sisters, too, but I'm just going to talk about the brother because it plays the same role is as responsible for, for you as if they're married. So they often work together to make sure you get what you want. You know, it's a very, you can see it. I mean, you can just see it. And you can see the relationship and the respect of when they call somebody family or somebody is family. And yeah, the duties are definitely given. So Kwame enjoys then when they come over just as much as I do, like that's what I love. He because he has such deep he has deep respect for the family. And he promised the older, which is brother Quasi of the airline that I was flying with, he promised him that, you know, he would take good care of me and Kojo did too. And so they are take care of all of us. So I definitely there is some uh there are some qualities that I truly do like. About these Ghanaians. I mean, like I said, it's got to be what you're looking for and it's got to be matching what you need. You know, there's other stuff too. But no, I've been, mean, there's just some basic things that I think are average and normal that I don't know if we know sometimes even as diasporans and just the trauma we went through, what is normal. Just that's, I think a lot of us do. I mean, like the sister said, respect is just the minimum. So I think we do, but we don't always. We say it and then we just let it go out the door like ah, it's known but nobody does it so then forget it. No, don't think like that. Are we getting somewhere here? Oh, oh, is there a shine? Oh, and this this here, you see this front because I did it earlier this one. That shine was from this morning. This is 
Yeah, I'm not going to have to do this for at least another day, maybe longer, but I can really just wet it. But it's the thing is, and this is what we read about Nemo, it's, I'm just making sure, it's not too, uh, it's not, the oil don't fall on your sheets and stuff because, not at least not at first, because your hair, well, my hair especially, your hair is drinking it. It's, it's just known for, it's almost, it seems like you might be thinking it's greasy, but because it, it looks, it comes off fast. I love it. I don't know enough about it. I won't say, like, I won't say I'm not selling it, like, because I'm not. I don't even have a, a, a supply of it. But if y'all wanted it, I would get to have a supply of it because I can. Because in Africa, the neem tree is everywhere. It's there. They, rep, they love it for the shade. It's a shade tree on top of everything else. Like I said, a sacred tree. You can feel it. I mean, you can feel everything here on, in the power of the stuff you're getting. So if people are coming out of Africa... It ain't no small thing. It's you. It's a big thing. Like you should be like trying to get that, get them African herbs. And I remember, uh, I know the brother from Brown Water Detox. When I did the detox, he used to get his herbs because he was trained in the Dr. Savi, God rest his soul, and he used to get his herbs from uh, Honduras. And he said, and another, the other brother too, herbalist, the South Carolina one. Uh, because he said, you know, because it, he said, and you can tell the difference. Of course you can. You don't know where you're getting your other stuff from. When I got my herbs from that, people was recommending that company, but I didn't feel the vibration. It's not because they were white. I just didn't feel the vibration. And I can't remember what that company's called. Mountain Herbs or something. But when I got Ty's herb, man, I felt something. When I got Kittred's herbs, you know, the other brother, I felt something. But... You got to feel it. And I, when I, I know when something is for me, I can feel that. I, I can look at it and, and then you'll ask the herbalist about it when I come in the store. They don't even have to go further. I already know. I already, I, I believe you. I understand. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. It's for me. The herbs come to you just like crystals come to you. Just like everything comes to you. But herbs come to you. Like I never have to guess. Like I can intuitively feel and know. And you know what? I never have to effort. I'm telling y'all, there is something in you spiritually that is here to keep you alive. I'm trying to tell you, here to keep... Yeah, you can't see me. Yeah, you knew I was going to do that. That's straight here to keep you alive. So every time I need herbs, herbs come. And there's so many herbs. And you're right, those herbs, that liquid herb that I was telling you about that I can't remember, but my girl, uh, Omi Funke, you, you've been on it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take it. I, I, it's amazing. It's a great clean out. And it's a way to clean out to me and not have to fast. Because I've heard the message here. Here, I don't know. My fasting don't agree with me. I think I need to eat. But it's interesting. I only need to eat once a day. I only need to eat once a day. I, I come home, I just, I'm good. So, I mean, I, I see you go, why am I getting so thin? Well, I'm eating once a day. There you go. I'm eating once a day. There you go. You ever see I'm using my hands as a, as a comb? I, I have a wide tooth comb, but I, don't feel, I feel like I really don't use combs. I don't use combs, period. I have one, but I realize, no, this is what my hair say. I need you. It's like eating from a calabash over a plate and eating with your hands over a dang silver spoon. Like, you don't want to do that. Them spoons are that stuff. That is not good vibration. You know, I mean, the th think about the clay, because clay is food. And they tell you when you're making clay products, toothpaste, whatever you're making, that do not use a metal spoon to use it. You're going to jack it all up. So, metal, mm -mm. the African thing with their hands, that's why they're so much healthier. They are in just a normal way. This is so many things that, you know, like I said, I'll have to, if we can get this group and get myself to connect to the people, because Facebook is doing stupid stuff, I'll tell you, yeah, there are definitely some, there's miracles, there's, so many lies about, oh, just lies. These people are very, they're amazing. They're amazing. They're very, got a very cleanness, a very healthiness. Even, I can't explain it. 
Right, it's just a difference. Not that I don't know. It's not necessarily the healthiness we might be used to, but yeah, it's something in us. It's something in us, y'all. So yeah, that is what I'm seeing. So y'all see, I'm going in, and that's what starts happening. You notice there's no rhyme or reason here in my in my twist, and uh, and I'll go small and large because I just go for where, what's the next like spot? What's the next spot that wants to be touched? Because it is about the touching and just rubbing that scalp, and also you rubbing that sebum off the edges. Yeah, I learned about hair growth when I was doing the water only, so-called water only hair. That one changed the game in my hair growth and my moisture level. So, water is the key for everything. You know, today I didn't do the six bottles of water. I got a late start. I didn't even have the water, uh, and it felt good to actually, to be honest, it felt good to take. I drank some water, but a day off. But I mostly just ate well. So tomorrow I'll go back, but I won't push too hard because there's a time when your body gets enough and you just got to do more, you know, kind of maintenance on it and don't stress out about it. So it's good. It's good. You mean, we, such an intelligent body. See that part right here? See, I'm going to give it some love. This right here is the sensitive part because that's your crown. That's your, that's your crown, period. That's your soft spot, so to speak. So we got to be a lot more nicer to that. Yeah, I, I don't know what woke me up and was like, you know what? I think I think it's the. I'm gonna tell you what it is. It's the creativity. The creativity makes you realize anything you touch, you are gonna make it cute, cause that's it's just a creative time. And if cuteness is where you how you create, then it's gonna happen. And I start thinking like, wait, I do like to do my hair. But I think, you know what happened to me with the natural hair? With the natural hair kind of movement, especially when it first came out, it kind of told you what you do with your hair. Everybody wanted to twist out like it was the new Gucci bag or the Louis Vuitton. Like, I didn't realize, but like now I can see it. We, we all wanted that look instead of creating hairstyles that are here, that work for our hair. I mean, and doing that by just learning, playing in your hair like I used to do when I was younger. Those things made you think there's a certain styles and you got to try that and you got to do the so-and-so and now it's the band too. That thing might not be for you. Your sleep is bad. You're here. But when you actually are just doing it for, mm, that's a lot of semen on the scalp. I could feel it. That's good. I'm going to bring it down. But just doing it because it's so relaxing and you, know, you got your protective style. You're just not trying to do it. It's just so much better. And a lot of times, too, you know, you got that much semen on the scalp. You can take the tips of your hair, which mine is the driest, and just rub it against your scalp, and it'll bring that sebum down. And that I know. And then that preening, I'm preening. This is the preening and the water-only method. And what I'm doing is I'm taking the sebum that's to the top, and I'm just bringing it down so I can coat the hair. And, it, and also, it allows the scalp to breathe because the sebum is not caked up in the scalp. And again, the scalp not breathing. Like I see now, not only am I feeling the neem, I'm feeling the sebum. Because that one, I really went in. There was a lot of sebum there. So that's something you want to remember, too. That helped me a lot. Okay, we're getting there. Size, everything coming back. Looking okay, looking pretty good. Okay. And this is day. This is, I've started this, I think, this is my third day. And I, the result, I saw the result the first day, when, like I said, when I took the braids out. So, I am going to be carrying the genuine. <laughs> and you see how I'm itching there and scratching around? That means it's dry. So, I'm going to take care of that right now. I have a, my scalp is dry, so I need to. You know, the one thing, if I ever do put it back, because I might not. Until I can find somebody that, you know, understands here. Um, I need a, uh, I need to, if I do put the braids back, I need to really be on a hair care routine. And I don't, I get, as soon as I get braids in, oh, I just, it, I'll be lazy with it. Like, I don't wet the scalp, no, and it itches, like, just wet the damn thing. It'd be, it be, you know, needing a wash, and I don't, I, I prolong it too long. I mean, I just act a fool, act a fool. So, until I can learn, 
how to love my hair. I don't know. I don't think I can have the braids. Because I ain't done yet. Ain't I be doing my What? In my own way? No style. Everybody else is doing it just because I don't really know. And I'm just going to let my hair do what it do. I'm feeling that. So if I can get this bob going, that would be a great protective style being twist. And what I like about the beads, they they elongate the hair and they keep them stretched because the beads, beads in general have weight to it. So they're really good for that. And I like that as well. So I'm, I'm going to create something nice. Like I say, even if it don't go exactly the way I envision, it'll be dang near close or it'll be better. You know what they say after everything you affirm, you say this or something better. But it's always going to be something better, I promise. You don't even have to say it. It's almost like, I don't know, you think about the law of attraction. and See, I got a lot of seed here. We're going to put that. It ends up there. I really don't think you need words. The whole idea that the universe knows what you're saying, the universe knows you're thinking words. The universe ain't stuck on your words. I don't think so. I don't think you even need words to get what you want. And so I know that. So I think I, I believe in more that it's, it's all vibration. Because you don't need words to get what you want. You know that. You, don't need, you know how to talk. I mean, you're still sending out vibration. So that's how you feel. That's how I feel. <laughs> that's how you feel. So yeah, my ends were very dry and uh, it was a little split. I probably need a good trim. And I never in my life thought about doing it myself, but now that I have to do my hair myself more, because I hear, I don't really have no choice, I ain't gonna lie. When they get some hair care specialists and people that can afford them, that's gonna have to, that's what it is. Or somebody that can do it affordably, oh my God, that's gonna be a business that's gonna blow up. Somebody that actually know how to take care of black hair and African hair. Well, they, they, yeah, that's not, I'm gonna talk about it, but no. But so yeah, so this is my you know this is my edge is actually growing back, so I just I'm not gonna do too much to it because I don't want to give put a lot of pressure on it because it's been a lot of pressure so that's what we don't do with that. All right, we just got this section. Now I know this might seem like I'm telling y'all, but I did it. Remember, I, I put a lot of sections. No, my if it wasn't if it wasn't the dye my regular hair. First of all, I'll, yeah, I'll be here for a long time, because when I first took the braids out, my hair was visibly thinner. It was broken, right? So it was thinner. But I'm telling you, in those few days, I feel it looking way more healthier. So, and the good part about anything, that's why you want to be careful what you put even on your head. You put it; it's going in your body. So neem is so good internally, of course, antioxidant, you know, fights out. Definitely great for the immune system, strengthens in no time. Good for skin conditions and boils and psoriasis. That's what I mean, all of that, all of that, as they say. It's, it's the bomb. I love it. And I think I'm feeling it because I'm. this is neem was probably made down the street. You know what I'm saying? So it's something to that. Yep, I mean, always like, you know, if y'all think about your buying black, like I said, you buying black, Africa black, y'all. So, support these African vendors. That's me, because I'm going to sell it. Because I believe in it. Even the smell of it now, to me, the first time was like, wow. Not, it's not funky, it's just kind of, but now, it kind of got an earthy, nutty smell. Like, I, I love it. I'm like, what? What was I thinking? You got to connect to it. You got to connect to your, your herbs. And your herbs got to connect to you. It's like, a, it's got, yeah, it's, 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 it's nice, y'all. It's deep. So I, what I'm doing here is the oil is nicely in here. And this one, and I'm combing it, finger combing. Literally, finger combing. And then the oil is just getting all up in there. And then I'm going to do a little scalp cleansing. Get that sebum off the scalp and on to the strands. They say your sebum is natural conditioner, so it's perfect for your hair. And I just go back and I just go get it. And you're giving yourself a nice massage. Oh, I just feel so good. 
Kwame gave me a head massage the other day. That was so nice. I was like, go, Kwame, go. Yeah. So, yes, y'all. And I, this one is fully coated and fully to the end. And I, next time, when I do it today after tomorrow, see, I'm going to pay attention. You can see that one. It's not all like that. And that one, those didn't have to be that way. They had to be that way. But I'm going to pay more attention to making sure that that happens, that I'm coding to the end and taking time to do it. That's why you don't need to do every night, but with this neem oil. So somebody asked me, I want to restore the collagen in my skin and the re re repairing of it and the, yeah, collagen in my skin and, the, the, you know, the making of it. I want to... Uh, heal my scalp and grow my hair or, you know, get my hair back to a healthy state. That's what I want to do. And I want those extra vitamins and minerals. And I, I feel like, you know, usually when it goes somewhere in your body, it, it does many things. So I'm looking for all of that. And to give my hair a nice break and to look pretty and shiny and to represent my natural in this way. The girls do. But, you know, I probably just got, I just probably got a little tad more, more oil than, you know. Yeah, the oil thing. You gotta put some oil in these hairs. So, need more. And you introduce, you introduce other people to it because Kwame's been living with Neem for a long time. And when I read it to him, he was like, oh, he really wanted it. Like, he really gonna use it. Because I was looking at it, he had something on. I said, oh, what is that you're using? He was like, oh, some cream for my skin, you know, because he's talking about shea butter, he won't use it. Okay. So I said, okay, well, what is it? And I read it, it was like, so it was an ointment, it was a Medicaid. I said, do you have, you ain't got no skin problem, you don't need this. He was like, no, I didn't really know what it was. I said, no, he said, I think I want that neem oil. I was like, yeah. He's like, all the stuff it does and it gives, so yeah, he gonna be using neem oil instead of some medicated it's over the counter, but it's just some garbage. It's like, no, you don't put that on. So, so yeah, yeah, it's just, you know, sometimes you have to, everybody get educated, even me, but they are too. So sometimes it takes other people to come to your country to help you appreciate what you have. And that's the beauty of it. I think travelers are so important to the world because they help everybody grow. Everybody, the one that's the traveler and the one that's there and the one that's going and the one that stays. Who's the traveler and who's the person staying? You know what I'm saying? And who's going and who's staying? Who's the traveler? Both. Every time you encounter a new person, that's the vibe. We're going to do something with this because these ends, I, just, I, I think it's the sebum situation. Let me go on there and get that sebum. Apparently, I missed this one. He has a lot of sebum. So, and I think, I'm feeling that that the neem oil activates it in a sense and it helps your hair produce it faster. I mean, I'm just not that I read it. That's what I'm feeling. It just helps your hair produce it faster. It's like your scalp, you know what? Sebum's coming on because the scalp is getting healthy again too and it's breathing. So yeah, I'm rolling with that. I'm rolling with it. But yeah, it's nice. And you know, them ends, I'm gonna put a little extra, ain't nothing wrong with that. Cause I, I, so the consistency of neem oil is thick. I would say, I mean, I, I mean thicker than, uh, it's not, let's see, does it run slowly? So, I mean, it's nice. It's a nice, I like the consistency of it. I like thick oils. To me, thick oils is everything. It's not better than shea butter. I rarely ever, I don't think I ever put shea butter in my hair. I think in the beginning I used to. And then I realized, oh, no, I didn't need the shea butter. That wasn't necessary. But, but yeah, Colts, well, I like it a lot. So i just been talking about it because I felt the vibe. Am I, do I have, like, one more left? Is that for real? And then I'll show you what I do. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm going to pull it out, though. Yipes, I want to keep that in. Damn it. Keep that in. So, yeah. Y'all got to stay. Okay. Last piece. And that's it. Yay. 
It was nice talking to y'all, too. So, I had a great day because the family was here. And I don't know, it just felt great. The kids in the background. Trust me in the kitchen. Kwame and Kojo watching the kids. So Faustina could do her thing. I mean, I mean, what else is there, y'all? It's amazing how we look at our family in a way, in a in an other-centric way, and we keep thinking our family are just the people that we would have to share the same blood with, but it's not true. I can tell you that as a child. Of course, I broke this in half because I need this to get some. I think the back broke a lot because the back used to always be very healthy. I used to think nothing could break the, the back on the sides of my head, but that's not right. And that's not true. But yeah, family, man, you you gotta let you got y'all gotta open up to the family thing for sure, because family really is everywhere, and you just watch, you'll see. I don't know what traveling gonna look like in the future, but um, I think it's gonna be good. We gonna we gonna make it good. And I think the world, I think the repercussions from all this is just going to be incredible because it's so much that people are not being able to process. I think the, I think we just need some mental health help to allow people to process. I think I, and I started thinking about just now, like, okay, yeah, look, they look crazy with the, maybe the protesting about the guns. I mean, like coming out, like, I want to go outside, you know, and all of that. But when you just think about just what people are going through right now, regardless of who they are, like, People are going through it, and these are all, you know, releasing of that rage. Nobody understands it. It's not well explained. People are judging, and everybody thinks they're on the right side. That's what I read when I find wear, don't wear. It is, it isn't. It's like, this is all forms of stress and trauma, and we're all being pitted against one another. But it's nobody's understanding, like, wait, people are not feeling good, and everybody's right. And everybody's right. Or everybody's wrong. One or the other. And they one over the other. So I gotta put a little something in oil. But uh I'm telling you, I see I'll be like, woo, we got to realize that ain't no no nobody know what it is. And we have to know that okay i'm gonna give it some more love so y'all got the this is that my hair got because of y'all my hair got the extra special treatment it did so kind of remember that like people are going through serious trauma that instead of like i said being mad or point fingers just to be like oh we got to uh find out we need to employ some mental health specialists quick fast, but actually, I don't know. Well, yeah, you know, I don't like certain type of mental health, you know, the way it is in the other centric communities, but we don't have to have that one, but we need some. And uh, I mean, all people do, but our community has to think about our community. We have to, can't, you know, think about everybody, but everybody need it. I'm telling y'all. All of that is forms of stress. It's like, what is it? Why? It's, I could imagine. A lot of questions and people are scared. Because it's kind of like, it seems out of control. So don't y'all fall for it. That's still not true. It don't even have to be like that. And, I, and my sister, the astrologist, neurologist, this Sunday, is going to be talking about why it's not like that for her. She She's taking these lemons and making lemonade, honey. She making lemon aid and got the lemons for free. You know what I'm saying? So it's a way to look at it and to produce and progress from it. There was a lot of sebum on there. That one was like, oh, I was so happy to come down. It's like, I'm so happy. I'm like, yes. So I'm just getting all of that goodness. Spread it around. But this is like my hair is almost feeling like and, and having the vibration of back to almost normal like this stuff is amazing it's the only thing i could say what it is so like i said it's going through my body so anything that needs any healing it's gonna receive so my third week i would like to get like i said 
uh, an African herbalist, and I'm going to have it. I just, you know, I didn't ask Kwame. I got to still ask Kwame. Let me ask Kwame. So I'll ask Kwame about that. But, yeah, y'all, this is the last. This is the end of the row. But I'll show you. I'm still going to put water and oil on the bang. And the rest of it is just water. It's kind of, hey, here. Hey, scalp. What's up? Get them sides, too. Hey. Everybody, oops, oops. Damn it. It's going about to come out. I'm going to have to redo this one. And put rubber bands. But don't worry, the rubber bands is not breaking my hair because they they the ones that pop. They pop out. You just be walking down the street. But after a while, they've been in enough long enough that the hair's pretty much trained. I mean, I haven't taken this out. All right, so this is it. This is the bang part. I do just like this. Give it a shower. Spray it. Get the scalp. It's kind of yes. Make it feel nice because it deserves it. And then just kind of do that. Put that water down. Oh, it's a lot of, yes, yeah, a lot of sitting there too. Let me go underneath this. Didn't know. So the hole here. But that sebum helped them edges grow back too. Because it's coating whatever here is there. And the sebum really does have a lot of vitamins and minerals. I mean, good stuff, nourishment for your hair. Like the creator put the medicine in the food. In a sense, he put the medicine in you too. So your own sebum is protecting your own hair. At the same time, so that's what can protect you, can also hurt you. So the thing is, that's why you wash your hair to get that off. So right now, I'm going to the front, and I'm checking for a dry spot. Yeah, see, that feels so good. Just It just was dry. And getting that sebum out. Now, probably tomorrow, may, maybe too, maybe not, I will, uh, that's all that sebum. I will take the twist out, but I probably won't. That's a lie. They look just fine. So my bangs are twisted. Mm. And it's got the sebum down. So, yeah. Very much protective style. So, I mean, I don't think I technically had to put no oil there, but, you know, we gotta, it just feels so good. So, best believe tomorrow I will be at the health food stand. I will be at the health food stand. And then I just put my little sock cap on. And I will not be doing that tomorrow because, like I said, it stays pretty moisturized. See that shine, y'all? In the dark. It shines like glow in the dark. And don't worry, y'all. I'm working on those. Um, I'm going to put that more in a twist. I'm working on the, what do you call the beads? Um, the waist beads. Particularly the ones that glow in the dark. <laughs> yeah, we're working on those. And they're beautiful. They're so pretty. I see them every day. Every day. And it's funny. It's the men that be selling it. Yeah. I think it's most... I, I mean, I've seen women, but I see a lot of men selling it. And that's... Uh, how beautiful is that? It's your man or the man put it on. Equalize that. Balance it out. <laughs> We do. We cannot go all the way to the goddess energy. Believe me, I don't even feel that comfortable just saying goddess anymore. I noticed that. <laughs> Since I met goddess too, now nah, I do. But I don't. I don't feel comfortable saying just goddess anymore. I never said that publicly because I just realized that. It's like, you know what? Sometimes I think I say God just to say, okay, we didn't, it wasn't about the name. It was never about the name. It was about the energy. And whatever you call it, get the energy. So, yeah. So, you see, she getting that love. She loves this. Other people might say it's messing with their hair. Mm -mm. My hair don't say that. My hair be like, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. And I'll be like, yes, okay. So, yeah. This is when I start singing some church songs. I ain't even been to church. 
I ain't really never when I was a kid, but that's not my mommy, and that's my story. Anyway, woo, that's a freedom right there. All right, I'm free. Okay. That was a lot of fun. And then, oh, and somebody else. And then, you know what? I don't usually do this at night, but, you know, you ask. Let me see this. Show y'all. Let me show y'all this incredible. Let me see if I can show you that incredible shine. Let me show you that name sign. Shine. Look at that. A little goes a long way. Look at that skin. And it be all day. A little goes a long way. It was not with nothing. I ain't mixing with anything. Just to show y'all. I didn't do my face, but I'm going to go clean my face with my rose water. And then I'm going to put the neem on before the end of the night instead of the shea butter. And that is it. Yeah, because I got And actually, I ain't take my nightly bath, so I'm going to do that too. So let me see the messages or the comments, and then I need to take that nice cool shower. Oh, the water's on. I'm so excited. So excited. That was fun. I loved it. Oh, let me watch that oil. And oh, the house is clean too, so I'm very happy. Ooh, that was a lot, but it was fun. It was worth it. Yeah. Okay, so let's see who's on tonight yes hey lots of y'all yay good afternoon lakeisha hey nicole hola let me know the recipe i need a deep condition i have neem oh okay yeah right now just neem but definitely felicia says yeah i'm gonna create some uh good evening queen hey felicia hey beverly hey beam them up good afternoon hey positive vibe how are you i'm wonderful quick hello to you too i love your energy through god and me Darcy. this is how you thrive when you repatriate yes ma'am you are not moaning and uh some oh yes right about everything yeah you are so positive god bless you i can't wait to meet you in ghana yes sisters can't wait to nikki moore happy monday from los angeles hey happy monday that's right today is edu eduard Ada, Ejuada, my name, Ajuada, today is my day. DJ says, good evening, Sister Lisa. Hey, Nikki Moore, thank you for always sharing your knowledge. You are welcome. Can I buy Nemo in the States? I think you can, but I don't know for sure. I heard other sisters, I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, hey, Tanisha, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Melanin, hey, Melanin. I need Melanin. Toothpaste is what I need. Oh, I'm going to have to make some myself. I got some clay, so I'm about... I heard you can use neem for the teeth as well, and I'm going to figure out... Because I did see them in, in toothpaste. I'm going to figure out how I can make my own toothpaste. Now, I got to make my own stuff. This stuff I ain't selling. That's the stuff just for me. I don't want to make no products like that, so I'm not selling it, but I'm going to make it for myself. Hi, Lisa, and when I get a good one, I'll share with y'all. Hi, Lisa and everyone. Hope all is very well. Look at the hair. Nice. I was growing out my hair, but I get impatient and just got a bob here. Yes, girl, the bob, the bob. You feeling it? I'm, I'm, I'm about to get some bob. It's going to be braid bobs with my own hair. With my own hair. We're going to experiment. Uh, my tooth powder says, love you. Oh, that stuff is the best. The best. I saw an Indian dentist on Dr. Oz one time talk about how they don't use commercial toothpaste in India. Just swish with neem. I love that. Thank you, Queen. Somebody else said it's supposed to be for the teeth, too. So, you know, I'm going to do that. I ran out of toothpaste. I was like, yes. Yes, you were always consistent with my tooth powder, girl. Her tooth powder is the best tooth powder paste, everything in the world. Hey, Joanne, says Tanisha. I love the white top, too. Yes, naked. Yes. Joanne says, Tom's deodorant does not, nothing for me. I, I never use, I, actually, I don't even use deodorant, but I hear you. I never use uh, anti, 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 anti mint antiperspirant anyone anymore because it has aluminum true only natural deodorants yes i have made deodorant baking soda and coconut wash yes deodorants yeah i don't use deodorant which is such a blessing i don't have to use deodorant but um uh, so i don't even use toms but if i don't use deodorant but for people that is like in a family if i'm running in a store and that's all they got i will look for a natural one jason's toms but you're right Tom's have aluminum, so they got the non-aluminum because people talk about it. But really, I use uh, only tooth powders or toothpaste I make myself, and I'm about to use the name. I'm about to use the name. But yes. 
Yes, it's called Kate. Oh, yes, DJ. Yeah, Melanin, please let everybody know how they can get in touch with you with your amazing products. That tooth powder is just amazing. Hey, Emma. Hey, I remember, uh, I always think about, uh, Lord, I remember his name. Hey, Sue's from the DR, Lord. And how he, he, girl, I ain't had no toothpaste left. I was so mad. <laughs> yes, teaching, itching definitely means dry. It needs moisture, not just oil. Absolutely. Nikki's, that's right. Nikki says, I'm on my lunch break researching neem oil. Natural deodorant. Yes, ma'am. No, I didn't. Patty Amo says, no, you didn't. Oh, oh, I know I asked the question. I, I can't remember. Yes, I, okay. No, I didn't. Okay. Village. I, yes, I have a village of wonderful. This is, yay, Black Butterfly. DJ says, no, I don't. Okay. Uh, Kalea says, hey, Lisa, hey. Kalea says, is the neem better than black castor oil to me? To me, the vibration. You know, for years, people used to always tell me, Black Castle, Black Castle. I never could get into it. I wouldn't buy, I would buy it. I would lose it. I would, I would go rancid. It was never something that intuitively I could go with. And I don't know. But the moment that I saw the name on the table, I bought it not knowing anything about it. And when I took my braids out, I knew that that was what I needed to pre poo my hair with. And it feel like, and then I read these same things. So, so proven that it does, it feel like it stopped the damage right there. And it like bonded is the only word that I could spiritually uh, describe that I felt like it did. And then I was like, wait, this is actually really the, the medicated so-called oils and creams. It's actually healing as it as it cleanses and it's good stuff. Read, just read about it and just, I love it, I really do. At this point in my life, over 50 years old, I no longer have a village. When I was growing up, I did, but I need a village of sisters in my life. I do have three good sister friends that I can count on. Yes, good for you. Hey, Shelly, I watched your interview today, and it was everything. You were dropping shoot gems. Oh, me, Darcy Pa. I got it. Yes, I'm, you missed the interview, but let me. I said it. I got to figure out a way. It's going to be easy. Yes, the replay should be ready. You could actually right now, if your up should be on the, the top, if you go to Wendy, W-E-N-D-I, Cherry, C-H-E-R-R-Y, on Facebook, the, if the uh, interview is there. And I'll leave a link to the Facebook. I should be able to do that. I think I am. Okay, Joanne says, oh, yes, grooming and my beauty and feminine is important to me. Yes, I believe in self-care. I don't understand women that don't self-care. I think they just wasn't taught because I could see how I could just get away from you. Like, I, I could totally see it. Because I think intuitively, most women do. I see it here. I just think it, and I also think it looks different, you know, for each person. But I don't, I think nobody told us the very, very, very importance of it. I think that's the only reason. Lisa, I'm searching for the links for your upcoming classes. Okay, that's right. Miss Joanne, Joanne, I got you, queen. I got you. Y'all, tomorrow morning, we are, we going to do this. It's working. It's done. Hey, Sheila, hey, this is me just tuning in. Did you get a chance to post the link to your radio interview? No, I'll make sure I do it. Cheyenne says, good evening, sister. What is the aroma of the oil? Let me smell it right now. Can you compare it to other essential oils? Okay. I am very sensitive. Thank you. No, if you're sensitive to aromas, now for me, the aroma, you get used to it, that it's not like it was. You're probably going to like, not going to like neem. And, neem. and I wouldn't, when I think of essential oils, I don't know, I think of a fragrance like flowers, which I think that's what they are. Neem is not like a flower. It's more like a root. It's like barks and it's strong. It's just, you ain't girl, you ain't sis. No, you're not gonna want this one. I'm gonna tell you that one. Because, uh, and then it, it, ling it doesn't linger, it goes away, but it's there. Like me and uh, Kwame, we like the smell actually. It doesn't bother us at all. It's very natural, but it's not natural like summer breeze. <laughs> And it does go, like I said, I really want to emphasize that because that's the part. It does the, the go away, but if you can't get by the first, after the first few times, it don't even, the smell don't even bother you like the first time. But you got to be one of the people, if you, I know about smells too, if the smell does not resonate or you can't get past it or, for me, the vibe of it, it's just the vibration when I put it on. Before I did, I just felt it. Like, y'all, I keep getting the noni, like the noni. I got the noni. I remember in Trinidad, I got the noni. I never drink the noni. The noni has not even been open. This has happened to me in other places that I went to had noni. I don't know if me and the noni plant at this time is connecting because it never happens. But when I took the, when I saw the name, felt the name, knew the name, when I even bought it that day, not knowing what I was going to use it for, I just felt that it was going to be powerful. 
And then when I took it and put it on my scalp and I felt all these things, I was just like, wait, 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 hold up, hold up. I was sitting on my head for a while, you know. I was like, hold up. And I went and I read about it because I had used it for a, a, a day and a half at that point. The night and then the day. And then I was like, okay, wait, let's, yeah, let's, let's check this out. So check it out. Check it out. Always check out everything. But yes, uh, yes. So yeah, you might not. Kalea says, such sure does. Herbs and crystals vibrate to you. That's right. They call out to you. Yes, they do. Kalea says, can I just say, I love the fact you are doing your hair and chit-chatting. It's like Hangwood family. I love that too. We had to bring it back. Don't worry, y'all. I'm going to have a vanity table and it's going to have real lights around it. We're about to work it out. So when we get into that neck over there, we're going to be doing like real. You can see it close and it's clean or clearer. It's coming because this is fun. I miss it. Hey, Transcendent One, sometimes too much product causes scalp itch. Oh, not for me. My hair is always an under product. Oh, I mean, for me, I, I can understand that. I would, I'm not going to say I wish I had the too much product thing. Mm -mm. Girl, I will go days. And unfortunately, when I got braids, I go weeks without moisture. Like, I don't put, I don't, I, I ain't lying to y'all. And I'm not swimming at the beach, so it's not really getting no water. It's getting moisture from the air. So I'll be no, no. Like one thing I, I know is my hair, but you're right. For other people, if you if it's not, if it's itching, it's not always dry. She's right. Sometimes it's too much product and it just needs to be washed. Because I, But I know that difference. There's a difference itch. The itch I have when my hair is dirty, I know what that is, you know, and probably dry. But the itch I have when it's just dry, you can almost hear the dryness. And a lot of times, maybe it's both at the same time. If it's dry, it's probably, it might be dirty. But mine is clean. It's just dry, but it's not dry anymore. <laughs> and then, like I say, when I water myself, drinking a lot of water, I'll pull back today when I know I'm, I, I've kind of had enough and probably got a little reserve. Same thing with the hair. You'll know when to pull back. But my hair, if I did water every day, I'd be, my hair would be like, like jumping for joy. Like, yes. Yes, but yes, but thank you. It's still true. You got to respect your dedication. You put in the work in all areas of your life. Respect always. Oh, thank you, Queen. Transcendent One says, there aren't there women in Ghana who do cornrow twists here. There yeah, they do cornrows and they tight. Everything they do is tight. Yeah, they do cornrows. Girl, I wear cornrows all the time. Cornrows is a style that's going to take out your hair probably anywhere if you do it too much. The chances of it is much more likely than if you do individual. You are literally pulling your hair at the scalp. I mean, you could see it. And I remember seeing somebody say, oh, cornrow. I, and let me tell you, when I say, if you want to ask me what my favorite stuff, anything with cornrows, I'm the, I love me some cornrows. So they don't have to do, it's not the extensions per se that's too tight. It's the braiding that's too tight. It's that simple. They, they braid tight. Now, I don't know where you live, but it's kind of a known thing about Africans. I, just African people. I love y'all, but your braid hair tight. Everybody kind of know, kind of knows. But you know what's so deep about it? Even the black American women, it's not just the Africans, I have to admit, they braid tight too. My girl Kendra was like, I can't find anybody that don't braid tight. So when you find somebody that don't know, I think they're into, it's not even their fault. I think they are very visual. And for them, tight means it's going to look pretty. And it's, it's hard to get them not to, because it's a rhythm. And sometimes they're doing, you got three people in, in African salons, you got three people with four people working on your head. So now you got somebody tied, somebody not. So it's, yeah. And it's a look they're going for. So no, the cornrows, honey, is all tight. That's why I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to do it myself. But the thread in it sounds kind of cute, too. When I take my hair down, I love to brush my scalp. Yes, it really feels good. Yes, Jewel. Saliva says, hey, Queen Lisa, caught you live twice in one day. Yes, I know. Call it universal spirit. Yes, you can call it that. Call it, but you got to call it whatever you feel good about. Because sometimes people give you words and they don't feel like your word. It's got to feel like whatever for you. And that's what I say. We got to be okay in, in our conscious community of whatever word somebody chooses. Because most of us choose different words. You know what I love about Ghana? Most of the people I met was Brother Nee, Kwame, another brother. They all have been Muslim, Rasta, Christian, uh, lo local religions. I, I, I'm not even kidding to y'all. 
And it was like, it, it's, it's kind of expect everybody, because you're delving, you're going into it. So I, they have clearly called God by many names. But I think that the notion of a, a word, words do have power, but I don't think the God concept is just female or male. It clearly has to be both. So universal spirit sounds nice, but if that, if I'm not, if I'm not coming out of my mouth, only because it's just something somebody else told me. You got to feel it. And we all got to allow each other to feel God in all the ways that he and she comes. Or it comes. Or they come. Like, I do like the they-ness. Because they is always indicating the co creationist And I believe in that. So whatever resonates with you. I mean, really, really, let's get into what not resonates with your sister, your brother, your pastor, your community. Let's find that individuality in ourselves that truly makes us unique from everybody else, which makes the world like real cool, like a better place to be. So think about all of that. I know to leave. Oh my God, right? When we got to go and loving on that scalp before bad sis will sleep like a baby. You right, already feeling naturally clever. Thank you to leave. If I did the house about the kids, they woo girl. I could hear them in the background while I listen to the radio show. I truly, just, yes, thank you, Queen. Yes, because I think they saw that couch in the living room and it was about to be on because I could hear, but their father was on it and, Co and Kwame was here too. They support me. I love it. They know I got my thing. So Kwame especially was on it where the, the parents might have been a little. They was on it. So the kids, they put a little play area, then you know, on the other side, and the kids was happy as can be. But I did notice a few of my little sticks is bent over. It survived, girl. It survived. I don't know how long it's going to last. But no, but it survived. So, yeah, I, I get you. Yes. You know why? You know why? I leave now. I used to stay. I leave now because I just don't even want to see it. I do worse trying to run after them because when they, if I stay, they then think that I'm watching the children. And I ain't that good at watching kids like this because they play with me. Okay. They toy with me in a bad way. It's not good. So, I ain't that quick either like I used to be. So therefore, I notice that when I'm not here, they, the, the house don't be looking like nothing happened because they are extra attentive to those children. So the best thing I learned was to leave. <laughs> Sometimes, that's a, that is a metaphor for life right there. Sometimes, you know, you got to get out the way. You just got to leave. And so I feel so much better. I don't, cause then I think sometimes I look at the kids and I'm bringing anxiety too. Cause I, yeah, it's not cool. It's not a cool feeling. So I just leave. I like to leave because I want to come home and the house is clean. Like magic, you know, yep, magic. I just want that. <laughs> oh, it's clean. How did it get that way? Hey, ladies at the gym listening. Go ahead, bright wine. Yes. Kalea says, I use the crystal and have used for many years. Yes. That's beautiful. Leopard says, Lisa Marie, my neem oil arrived last week. Yes. 100% pure cold compress. I'm refined. Yes. Is that what you have? I haven't tried it yet. Yes. That's exactly what I have. Hello, beautiful lady. Hey, Boss G, how are you? And are you able to show the bottle? Yes, yes, I am able to show. But this is, I'm gonna tell you here, people take the stuff and they put their, um, they put their label on it. So this is just a local company. Like when I sell the lean name, I'm gonna put my label on so that's just what you do to represent so people can come back to you. But I can tell you what it says. The, this premium oil is cold pressed from neem seeds. It is raw and suitable for all skin types and hair. Apply evenly to clean body, face, and hair. That's what I say. I'm gonna clean my face, and this be my night oil too. So I use it all over my body. This has replaced the shea butter. No more stuck in my little crack crevices. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah. So and the composition is just neem seeds. Now, somebody was asking, do I, is this neem like in a carry oil? So it's a like an olive oil or a coconut oil, but it's not, it don't solidify. Or maybe it does. I wouldn't know, but I don't think it does. Olive oil, uh, jojoba oil, it's just, it's an oil, not like an essential oil, just a straight oil. It says 100% cold pressed pure neem oil. So... Remember here, y'all, you, you don't necessarily go in the store and buy the stuff. You, uh, where did I get this? The lady at the, the, the helpful stand, you know? Um, maybe at the vegan restaurant. Um, but a lot of times it's local and they, uh, 
put their label on it because they did. They packed it. Some people got connection to neem farms, I'm sure. So it's, it's theirs. They cultivated it. And uh, so, yeah, it's cool. I love it. That's why I said I'm going to definitely have the name on it. Cause I, and like I said, I wanted to show you all this, too, because I want you all to see, you know, where I'm coming from. I feel like my hair size is already grown back. And somebody said it. If once I stop, you know, leave it alone, the hair is just stressed out when you're pulling it. It's going to pull some out. That's the weaker ones. And you know why it falls out too? Like, I mean, I figure this out myself. Again, mine is about moisturizing. I don't, moisturizing in mine means water. It's so dry and then it's pulling for their life. Of course, it's like a brittle straw. It's gonna crack. And I realized that's all it really was. If I was spraying them braids like thoroughly even every other night and oiling, cause you're still getting to your hair, I'm telling you, I think that that's going to be better, but do I do it? No. So I'm on punishment? No. So since I don't do it, and I ain't going to do it, oh my God, it's been that long, I got to get off. Okay, that I, and I'm not going to do it probably for a while. I take with the braids, I'm not ready. If I can't be disciplined with the braids, I don't really need to have it. If I'm more disciplined with my loose hair, I'm going to go for it. All I need is a good color, so I'm going to have somebody fine you know what i'm gonna have somebody i don't know what i'll say i'm gonna have somebody find me some nice off black natural hair color all right ladies i love you i gotta now do the rest of this i'll see you all in the next video have a beautiful blessed day and night Peace and bless.